everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Um, this class today um, is all about working uh, with or giving a little bit of love to your lower back, mid back and upper back. So we're going to be working all the way down, up and down the spine. So a good one again for beginners. Um, it's a good one if you're just waking up in the morning and you need a little bit of movement up and down that spine to find length. If you know that you have issues with your lower back or anywhere in your back, be mindful. Of course, always really listen to your body. You know it better than I do. Uh, know what feels good. Try not to overstretch. And a good way to acknowledge that is to realize coming into the breath, if your breath shortens, if you find that you're holding the breath, you're probably not relaxed and you're probably not coming into the stretch with ease. So just be really mindful of that. So working with the lower back today, working with the middle back, upper back as well. So we're going to start off coming onto our backs and, and work away from there. So as you come down onto your back, again, you might need a um, cushion blanket today. If you have that, that's perfect. Don't worry about having a block at all. So as you roll down onto the spine, start to just press the lower back, middle back, upper back into the mat. So you might have to just take that pelvic tilt. Allow your back to settle. From there, you're gonna draw your knees together as the feet go nice and wide to the edge of your mat. You should be able to just about graze the backs of your heels with your fingertips. Allow the palms to drop, the elbows to soften, close down the eyes. And as you breathe, just start to take a little bit of that pelvic tilt, tucking the pelvis under, inhaling. And exhale, just let it go. And as you let it go, feel the natural curvature, the S shape of your spine. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So it's a really small, intricate movement. Inhaling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. From there, tucking the pelvis under, starting to draw belly button towards your spine. And you should start to feel the lower back totally flatten onto the mat. Just taking a moment there to check in with the body. Perhaps move the shoulders away. And then start to release, taking your hands to the backs of the thighs, draw your knees into the chest. You're welcome to do that just one leg at a time. Start to massage out the lower back from side to side and take your time. Slowly move from one side of the lower back, the QI to the other side. And from there start to make circles round. So one direction, really slowly. See if you can find almost those four corners of your back. Massaging through, really take your time. Keep drawing your belly in, navel towards the spine. Try not to allow your rib cage to pop up and out. Creating those circles in the opposite direction. Softening through the elbows. And exhaling round. Last time, rolling all the way through. From there, just allow the knees to part, the big toes stay together. Dropping the hands to the inside and then just let those legs hang. So if you have a strap, if you have anything from there just to drop the legs onto, you're welcome to, just to take some of the weight off. And again, really press that lower back in. Breathing in, breathing out. From there, start to draw the knees back together. I'm gonna to take a cross of the legs from there. So if you can take a full eagle, you're welcome to take a full wrap. Otherwise, just take a single leg cross. The palms come down to, to the mat, to the floor, and then you're gonna to start to lower your legs over to the right. So it's the left leg that's crossed over. As you lower yourself to the right, take your time again. If you have a blanket, if you have a cushion, you might want to place through. Even if you have a block or something else, you can drop those knees over to that side. 
Use your arms to lower yourself all the way through and really take that slowly. You might find that you're able just to lengthen the legs. You may find that you're able to move the head over to the left hand side and the gaze goes over. Otherwise, just keep the head through or keep it in neutral. Holding there. Start to breathe into the side of your body, your rib cage, your back body. If you feel like you've shortened your breath, you know that you might need to come out of it a little bit more. You might need to stack up those cushions, blocks. You might need to move the legs a little bit further away, lowering down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Be mindful as you press through the fingertips, perhaps uncross or keep the cross and draw your legs all the way back through centre. Moving the cushion, the pillow, whatever you have, the block over to the other side and begin to cross that right leg over the left. As you do so, plant down through the hands again, start to roll over down through to that left hand side. Until you can release, perhaps you draw the hand out to the side, gaze is over that right shoulder or you're able to just drop down. Again, breathe all the way into your side ribs, your back body. Breathing in. Breathing in. You might want to hike the hips if this feels a little bit too much. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Start to plant down through the fingertips, either on cross again, use your hands to guide your legs back through. Release that cross and then again, draw your knees in towards your chest, massage out the lower back. You can take little rocks up and down the spine from there. If that's a little bit too much, just roll over onto your cheek and shoulder. If you like to take Kalasana, perhaps drop the legs all the way over, creating a little bit more space. Breathing in, breathing out. When you're ready, as you rock yourself all the way up, come up into a nice, comfortable seated posture. Draw again the belly in towards your spine. Plant down through those feet, squeeze the knees together. On the inhale, as you draw that right hand to the thighs, lift up through the left. On the exhale, draw that left elbow in and take your TP twist. So again, you can plant down through the hand, or you can just place the hand through. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. On the inhale, draw the arms all the way up. On the exhale, take your twist all the way through to the other side. So you can draw the legs past, dropping that right arm in. Gaze is over the back shoulder. Try to keep squeezing the knees together, the feet together. Twisting round. Breathing in. Breathing out. If it's easy, you can drop the chin into chest. Look down at the hips. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in. Breathing out. When you're ready, start to turn yourself back through centre. You're just going to allow the knees to drop from there. Taking hold of the feet. Just going to come into a really simple roll down. So don't worry too much about the shape that you've created. The heels can be further away, they can be closer to you. Taking hold onto the outside of the shins or perhaps even taking hold of the feet. Begin to tuck chin into chest and gently draw yourself down. Inhaling, exhale. So with our inhalation, we want to almost come into the space. So breathing in to create that space to create length. And on the exhale, start to move into that space and lower yourself down. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. I'm 
from there slowly begin to round up the spine roll the shoulders back draw the knees back together if you'd like to you can come to come and sit on that cushion from there you're going to allow that left leg to draw all the way long and then from there that right side is just going to drop out we're going to move our torso right over that front leg flexing through the foot to keep it nice and active and then draw our hands down so we're going to work a little bit more into the hamstring here but remember the body is all connected so we're going to feel that a little bit into our lower back as well lead with the crown and the head as always breathing in breathing out inhale exhale start to lift and come all the way up be mindful as you lift and just take a simple switch so don't worry too much about this foot whether it's really tucked in or if it's just away allow that knee to roll out as much as you can and you can do that by gently turning the sole of the foot to face upwards flex through that right side this time taking your hands to the outside of the thigh start to move the body round to face that leg again lead with chest and heart lead with the crown of the head and draw yourself down get to the point where you can feel the stretch and then breathe into it inhaling exhale inhale exhale breathing in breathing out inhale exhale as you lift up we're going to stay in the seated posture i'm just going to come to the side so as you stay in that seat you're going to take a real simple cross leg so coming into the sukhasana kind of seat so as you draw the right foot in it's going to come as close as you can towards uh, your pubis and then that left foot is going to come in as well so we're sitting nice and tall here moving the flesh from our bottom and as we do that so definitely try and use a blanket a cushion here for this one sit nice and tall and the hands are going to drop behind us inhale and on the exhale just one single hand one hand behind so to move yourself forwards your hips are trying to go back fingertips pointing away once you get so far you're welcome to just drop yourself down perhaps work through the hands that little bit more you may find that you're just sort of staying up in this posture and just holding and that's perfectly normal that's fine staying there breathing in breathing out breathing in breathing out start to lift very gently as you lift you're going to start to walk your hands over to that right hand side so we're going to start to get a little bit of a twist through lowering the body again perhaps coming onto the forearms bowing the head walking the fingertips out if you'd like to try to keep the left knee the left hip dropping rather than rising up Start to lift very gently and as you do so, start to walk your fingertips around to the left. Again, trying to keep that right hip down as much as you can. Walking around and lowering yourself through. Continue to breathe all the way into it, drawing and rolling out that quad, that thigh. Feeling the stretch all the way through that right hand side. Inhale. Exhale. Breathing in, breathing out, inhale, exhale. Slowly start to draw yourself back through centre. As you do so, start to lift just that little bit more. As you do, you're going to start to roll, just taking the feet out from underneath you. Here you might want to take something a little bit higher, perhaps another blanket. Um, a block or a bolster, whatever you might have to play around with at home and you're just going to drop yourself forwards now notice I've got quite a range in my hips now but you're just going to start to come onto those toes and round through the back 
uh, from here you might also be able to start to put that blanket, that cushion right underneath those heels. If you have blocks at home, it might be a little bit easier to work with the blocks as well. So if you have two, you can drop the heels right onto those blocks and you can just begin to reach yourself forwards. From there, beginning to rise, coming into Malasana, our yoga squat. Again, it might be a little bit easier to perhaps prop yourself up with those blocks, dropping your sitting bones down, walking those feet out a little bit. You can keep the heels to the back of the blocks or to that cushion, to the blanket. Breathing in. So elbows to the inside of the knees, just that little soft part. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. So from there, keeping the feet, the heels down. Perhaps keeping them onto blanket, onto the cushion, whatever you have, or even to those blocks and reaching back forward. So work with what feels good, coming from the last one into that roll. From there, plant down through the heels, work through the fingertips, you're gonna to start to roll all the way up. Keep the knees nice and soft. If you need to come onto that cushion, that blanket, that little bit more, knees softening. And ideally here we want our belly, our chest, all the way onto our thighs. Of course you can place the hands onto your blocks again, onto something to bring the earth that little bit closer. Bow the head, release any tension through the neck, the shoulders as well. Inhaling, exhale, inhale, exhale. Start to roll up through the spine, vertebra by vertebra, head, neck and shoulders, last to rise. Roll your shoulders all the way back, all the way back. Inhale, draw the arms all the way up. Taking hold of the right wrist, drawing yourself over to a side stretch. Inhale, lift. Taking hold of the opposite wrist, exhale, over. Inhale, lift. On the exhale, start to soften through the knees. Send your hips backwards, tuck your tailbone under, rolling all the way back down. If you're able to, lift through the hips a little bit more or keep the belly, chest onto the thighs. Breathing in. Breathing out, let the head go. Breathing in. Breathing out. When you're ready, start to lower the seat, perhaps walk your feet out that little bit more. Drop back down into your malasana, your yoga squat. Inhale. Exhale. From there, plant down through the fingertips. Roll yourself over, back onto the knees. You can move the blanket, whatever you have, just to the side again. And drop yourself back into your child's pose. So this is a really good posture for your lower back to release, to let go, fingertips spreading away, if you need to you can create that space by taking the knees nice and wide and reach up your belly, your chest, drop all the way through. Spread the fingertips wide. Walk the elbows in to just give yourself that little reach. And of course, whenever you're moving, be really mindful that you're drawing your belly button in, that you're connecting and lifting all the way up onto the knees. So as you come onto all fours, make sure the knees and the hips are aligned, the hands are aligned, elbows and shoulders. Gently turn that first finger to face forwards. Rather than facing in, so you turn and you outwardly rotate your shoulders. 
And we're going to come into our cat and cow stretch. So on the exhale, rounding through the spine, chin into chest. Plant down through the tops of the feet. On the inhale, let the belly drop. The chest and heart to come forward. Press through the fingertips. Keep the neck nice and aligned. And then look up with the eyes. On the exhale, round, chin into chest. Inhale, come forwards. And make this as active as you can. So I'm pressing through my fingertips like little soccer cups, creating a little bit of a space for my palm and still pressing, connecting with the top of my feet. Exhale, round, chin into chest. Inhale, release. Coming into neutral spine as you lower into neutral spine. Start to take the forearms down to the mat, continue to spread those fingertips wide, draw the belly in so you're still connecting and you're strong, and then begin to slide those legs behind you. As you do, make sure the elbows are in line with your shoulders. Shoulders are engaged and drawing back, lifting from your belly center, chest coming through, shoulders away from the ears. Feet planting down, breathing in, breathing out. So holding our sphinx pose if you'd like to, if that feels pretty good for you. You can turn the thumbs to face forwards, fingertips facing away. On the inhale, engage, lift and press all the way up. Eyes as the elbows come forwards, coming into our seal pose. Breathing in, find that length all the way through the backs of the legs. So you're creating that space rather than crunching into the lower back. On the exhale, as you lower, come back down into Sphinx. Know that if that's all a little bit too much, you can lower down into this horizontal version, moving the hips from side to side if you need to. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to take that one more time, placing the hands underneath the shoulders. Fingertips engaged, first finger pointing forwards, shoulders away from the ears. So start to work into your shoulder blades, your back muscles. And again, if you want that little extra, turn the thumbs to face forwards, fingertips away, breathing in, breathing out. Chin slightly tucked into the chest, gaze is forwards, breathing out, engaging the body, stretching the abdominals. Breathing in, and on the exhale, as you draw yourself down, just placing your hands forwards, moving your hips from side to side, release the lower back, let it go. Placing the hands underneath the shoulders, engaging your belly again, lifting yourself up. As you go back and down from there, you're going to drop yourself into child's pose, but this time as you drop into child's pose, you're going to sweep those hands behind you. Placing them onto your lower back and dropping your elbows down and wide, forehead to the mat. So almost as if you're pressing yourself, your lower back down to the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Releasing hands. Fingertips out in front, rise and come up, back onto all fours. From there, you're going to start to just take that left hand a little bit further out to the side. So one hand print. On the next inhale, you're going to start to release that right fingertip to the mat and draw the palm all the way up towards your armpit. And as you do so, on the next inhale, start to take your elbow away from you. Breathing in. Breathing out, inhale, exhale. If you can, start to lengthen through that arm. It's a lot of work. And then try to find that space in the neck. The head is between the shoulders. On the exhale, as you release, allow the arm to come all the way down. Start to thread the arm all the way underneath. Dropping onto the shoulder, releasing the side of the head down. Using the fingertips on the left side to balance you and to press yourself up and out of that stretch. If you'd like, you can release the left hand off and gaze up. Or you keep the left hand down 
Another option is to start to walk that left hand all the way out, fingertips spreading away, coming into that full twist, breathing in, breathing out. Inhale, exhale. Start to slide that left hand back, allow it to guide you and lift yourself all the way back up onto all fours. Coming into one cat and cow, exhaling, rounding. Inhale, release. Exhale, come into neutral spine. Belly draw, belly button draws all the way in. Right hand goes one handprint away from you. Slightly turn out the fingertips so you can add a little bit of extra weight in there. On the next inhale, start to slide. Fingertips, the palm all the way up towards your left armpit and begin to rotate. You can gaze right up towards the left shoulder. And then when you're ready, start to open up through that left side. Breathing in. Breathing out. So still connecting through my legs, my core muscles. Inhale. On the exhale, as you release, stretch those fingertips wide. Drop the left fingertips all the way underneath, dropping onto, guide yourself through onto that left shoulder. And then when you're ready, if you'd like to either open up through the right arm, keeping the fingertips down, you can always place the blanket block for the head, or reach that right hand all the way away. And come right back into your breath. Stretching all the way across the upper, the middle back, rhomboids and the lats, breathing in, breathing out. Begin to walk and draw that right hand back in. Use that hand to lift yourself all the way back up. And this time drop yourself back down into your child's pose, but coming right up onto those fingertips. Feel the space and length that you can create in the back. Of course, you can drop those knees nice and wide, breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Plant down through the fingertips. Begin to rise. As you rise, take that cat stretch. But this time begin to curl those toes under. Really top tailbone under. Squeeze your bum. Gaze is right between your thighs. And begin to lift yourself all the way up. Back and down into a down face dog. Feel the length in the spine, the length in the hamstrings. Gently allow the head to move. Breathing in. Breathing out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Gaze is right between the fingertips. When you're ready, you're going to stride from there, the left foot through. As you lift and come up, start to draw the hands all the way to the hips, drop down onto that back heel, and then begin to walk your feet in so they're parallel with the short edges of your mat. If you have your blocks, if you have your blanket, you're welcome to take them right out in front of you. From there, draw your hands to the hips, inhale, arching the spine, gazes up. Find that length, and on the exhale, draw yourself forwards. As you draw down, placing the fingertips on the block, Find that length if you'd like to drop any lower, you're welcome to. Perhaps lower those blocks down out in front, or your cushion, or your pillow. Bowing the head if you'd like to. On the inhale, come up just halfway, lengthen. On the exhale, lower yourself back down. If you'd like to take a twist, you're welcome to. Start to walk right hand round. Again, you can always take those blocks with you. You can either take hold of the legs, draw yourself down, or just stay in that fold. Coming all the way 
back through centre, walking yourself round again. Use the blocks if you'd like to. Shoulders back and down, back and down. You can walk your feet in a little bit narrow if you'd like to, or stay in this posture. From there, you're going to start to draw that right hand all the way out. Left hand, and that hand is going to draw all the way underneath, coming into eagle arms. From there, you're going to round the back. Tuck chin into chest and just take that stretch on the upper back, keeping you engaged through the legs, inner arches of the feet, releasing the hands and taking the other cross. Again, you can do exactly the same thing, palm to palm, palm opposites, chin to chest. From there, we're trying to round through our spine as much as possible. And you can still do the same thing with the palms and the forearms together. On the inhale, unravel, lift the arms all the way up. Begin to walk and shuffle the feet all the way in so you're standing nice and tall. On the exhale, soften the knees and draw yourself all the way down. Be mindful as you roll down. Planting the hands out in front of you, walking the feet back into a plank, drop down onto the knees and drop yourself back into child's pose. Staying in your child's pose for as long as you need. You're welcome to come and roll into a Shavasana cult pose if you would prefer to. When you're ready, roll up through the spine. Just going to take a few rounds of breath to seal our practice. So if you'd like the blocks underneath the sitting bones, stack them up. Coming into Navasana, our hero's pose, or coming into Sukhasana, your cross-eyed posture. Sitting lovely and tall on those sitting bones. Again, if Shavasana works for you, please do that instead. Begin to close down the eyes, the palms can come down as well onto the tops of the thighs or let the hands fall where they naturally fall. Taking notice of where your breath is. If you're able to move your breath all the way down into your lower abdomen, belly rising and falling. When you're ready, bow the head, release chin to chest. Draw your hands through to heart center. Living your life to its fullest, embrace your life with passion, bowing to the divine in each and every one of you. Namaste.